Home dia, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For new comers, my name is Didi. You like my Bitcoin caps? Yeah, this one you can get on the website called CryptoTrader.nl from a friend of mine. Uh, today's short TA video, really cool information about Bitcoin. I think. I think four really cool charts that you must see also showing you what is happening at the moment because everybody thought we were going to break 42k and now everybody thinks we're going to go back to 20k again so let's get some facts on the screen here we that was a goat we have goats bam i've been running so long that my feet don't work no more This is the first chart, guys. Uh, this is a, a day chart. Yes, not starting with the four hour, but with a day chart to show you what I think that is happening. Hmm. Do you see this uh, red line on top? This uh, trend line coming down. I took the bodies this time and we need to break this one to become really bullish. And to break that one, we need to close the candle above it. And that is what we are trying to do at the moment. We need to break the 42K level first, then go up and break that red candle. But like you know, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 green days in a row. And that's really bullish. But when you have 11 green days in a row, you can expect a pullback. And as long as that pullback um, is creating a new, let's say, higher low, for example, around 37,000, 37,500 US dollar we can still go up again and have that movement. So we could go down to test at 37,600, 500, and then move up again. That would be natural. And then you have a low, you would create a higher low, you would have a high, and you would create another higher high. And that is how you change. And after 11 green candles, I don't know if you remember from yesterday, but I will paste it inside um, this video. If you look at history, it, with the moment we saw 10 or 11 or even 13 days in total, green after each other, then the next move you see in this table. So the first time when we had 10 times candles in a row, green ones, was in 2013, guys. And then the first day after that we had those 10 green candles, we fell with 3.7%. We also saw this in 2017. We had 13 green candles in a row. And then the first day after those 13 green candles in a row, we fell with 6.7%. And in 2017, again in October, the same. And we fell with 2.6%. And the second day, we also fell a little bit down, 1% or 2%. And even the third day, we could fall down, fall down to 3 or 2%. But if we look in the longer term, after 10 days, we went up with 70%, 10%, 10%. One time in 2021, we fell down with, uh, in 2017, we fell down with 5%. And after 15 days, there all the candles were in the plus 128 percent 20 percent 5 percent 10 percent and after 20 days even more and 30 days and 60 days also even more an average of 100 percent higher than the moment that we saw those 11 green candles so that is very important to understand okay let's jump into the next chart the next chart will be let's see oh let's see bam this one this is zooming out. Now we are going to look at the week chart. On the week chart, we can see as well that yes, we are moving in between these green two areas and we need to break that above line, that 41, 42K level. But at 42K level, guys, this candle just opened and this candle is still open for six days. You will hear Jessa on the back because she's feeding the goats. Um, sorry for that. This takes six more days to close so this candle can close above this one we can already be happy on the weekly chart that we had a green huge candle and now this candle needs to close above it so we have six more days to close above it that would be 
the best um, if that happens, guys. Let's take a short look at Ethereum. Ethereum also really should looking sharp. Check. I have this trend line already on the chart since phew, October. And we found support every time, then we broke it, but we are above that line again for Ethereum, which is really bullish. This is bullish. I think Ethereum can easily reach uh, the previous autumn hike again very soon, like in the next couple of weeks even. You know, this is Ethereum looking bullish. Ethereum creating a new, um, a higher high than, uh, than here, like see it. This is the high over there. We are creating a higher high. So we will pull back a little bit to the line, maybe go up another higher high. Ethereum looking really healthy as well. But that's all speculating. If you want to trade, um, I trade with the Bam Bam indicator. This is the Bam Bam indicator on the one hour. Um, let's see. For example, here, the Bam gave a short. We also had a red candle closing down below the yellow stepping line. So that's a beautiful moment. Um, you see a red dot appearing as well. You see a lot of yellow here. And here the red line is on top. So that's a lot of confirmations. Let's see the Bam Bam line. The Bam Bam line already broke over there. And it retested and broke again down over there. So that's a lot of confirmations of that short. And that short would have given you from there, uh, let's say, to the long flag or maybe even till the closing above the yellow stepping line because that is the most safe way to step out. Um, that would be a 3.4%. With a leverage of 10 34 percent trade guys that's a lot of profit and now and um, the moment you step out of that short over there um, we can enter the long why didn't we step out on the long flag over here that's the question now because it didn't close a candle above the yellow stepping line so you can sh very safely stay in the short and then you see you get another short and that's why we step out here not at the long flag but here at the moment we close above the yellow stepping line that is a confirmation less profit but more safer trade because we could have been rejected and gone down a little bit more as well now the long the other way around we have a long flag we need to wait for a closing above it we have that closing above it and um, we have a green dot but there's too much blue and yellow so we need to see green guys we need to see hills like over here if we don't see the hills we are not going to take a trade the green line is on top that's kayo and yomi my niece and nephew oh this is a noisy video and this is the bam bam did cross but for me not safe because there's no green on the charts guys um if you want to trade all this please use the referral links down below our videos you can find down below the videos we have a femix 1200 dollar bonus $1,200 bonus. Femix is a kick-ass new, really cool exchange that I like. Um, the bonus is perfect. Uh, Prime XBT has a 50% dollars bonus. Bybit $1,610 bonus is back again. So go there, you get even a free Bybit merch inside. Um, click those links, sign up using our links. Dudex has a $300 bonus. By signing up using these links, we make some fees and you know what we do with these fees. Guys, let's jump into the last two charts that I want to share with you because these charts are really cool as well these are bam over here i will make my face a little bit smaller for that and i need to check the time yes we have enough time of course stock to flow model of plan b plan b is now saying guys look we just printed a new uh, we just printed a new dot yeah, with the closing of the candle of july and that yellow dot over there that one is higher than the previous dot we are turning around the market and that is what you see over there. Every time in this bull run, we create a lower dot, but also a higher dot again. A lower dot and a higher dot. A lower dot and a higher dot. This is bouncing from the bottom of the stock to flow model. This is very positive. This could mean that we create another higher dot above there and then another one above there and you know just the way it goes in the next couple of months and yes it can take a few months i agree with that and we can even go all the way up to 280k uh, i agree with that as also and yes we pro probably also come down to that line again like this as well but speculating if we hold the stock to flow model we would in december reach this 100k level easily bam and that is also what you can see here this is the realized cap what is the realized cap the realized cap is oh wait is my face on the screen yeah is the price of all the 18 18 bitcoins last movement of the price so the last time these bitcoins were moved that price all calculated through the 80 million 700 bitcoins and that's the realized cap and that is the price that you see over here also 
turning up again this is all really bullish guys i, I really like the charts at the moment um i think that everybody understands now that we probably don't go to um the 24k that everybody was expecting um but that we found support in these beautiful areas that we have been finding support in 2017 and in 2013 and yes in both of those periods july was a shitty month and in both of these periods august september october and november and december were amazing months of a huge second part of the bull run and that is what i expect i am always bullish let's see if this happens and if this happens then i will tell you on time yes i'm going to sell a little bit of my bitcoins or exchange to stable coins to buy them back cheaper again but more about that in a later video guys this was everything for today i hope you really enjoyed this video and um, uh, if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as i love to read and respond to your comments i was really busy the last weeks so i'm going to make more videos again and answer more comments again but it was just too busy to do the lives this weekend sorry we were moving to the new house all that stuff my apologies i will pick up everything again now now that we are in structure again also enjoy the second video of today of jolie juna and Demi seeing this house for the first time pubers living in the wild <laughs> with goats and chickens uh, i think it's going to be fun thanks for watching guys and see you later again Bam! i can't stay in no more